Uh, welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe that would really encourage me to drop more content like this or else i'm taking this off the channel i'm just keep these videos private if you don't subscribe that's a threat <laughs> i'm just i'm just joking let's just get right to it so um i in the previous lesson i said i was going to use the texture in xyz map it's not what you're thinking. I'm sure you guys are thinking pre-made, albedo, normal map, displacement map, and all that fancy stuff, but not really. I'm using the old 175 skin pose alpha in here, so that is what I'm going to be using for this character. But that, that what I'm familiar with. So sorry to disappoint you guys, but trust me, we'll get good results out of this. Because that's what I've been using for a long while and the results are fairly decent okay so let's get to it i would think for now i can just put this put this aside for now so once you get the pack texture next xyz pack you should be having in each folder something like this that kind of gives you different numbers as to where or which region to kind of use them in so that's what I'm going to be using. But before I do that, I would like to create a new layer for this. The new layer for this. So I'll create a new layer. Name this. Uh, why we need to type in everything? Let me just use XYZ skin alpha instead. So then one thing I like to do is to turn off this base skin. Turn that off. Also turn off <clears throat> this bump imperfection. So just the flat surface of this should be fine for now. We just need the flat surface of this. Got any skin for detail on there, at least for now. Then let's start. Okay, let's turn on the record for this texture in XYZ skin alpha. Very important. Because we want to get that record in. Okay, so standard brush. You take off this lazy mouse stroke for this set this to them standard take this down maybe increase this a bit more back to the standard brush so uh, so if i go to my light box under alpha uh, I have my I have my XYZ one seventy five skin alpha in here. So there are different faces in here. So I'm going to be using I'm going to be using a young girl face. I think uh female thirties, male thirties. Male 20. Let's try this male. Uh, you can either use the female or the male, anyone will still work. Let's try the male 30 instead. Let's see what that gives us. I'm going to pull this around here and try to get a closer look on this. Okay. Um okay. So I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to let's see, let's see. So so let's start with the let's start with number four for this. So number four should be let me see number four, number four. Double click on this. I'll double click on this I 
Mm, this looks very bright though. Let's oh. Something feels oh something feels wrong. Something definitely feels wrong in here. Turn this paints off and paints off. How did I know that something was wrong was because adjusting this was not changing the color. Okay. So let me use something a bit darker so I can get more contrast to it. Yeah, something like this so we can get more contrast to it so now we can just use this right use that immediately why because we would need to go to alpha down to alpha modify mid value should be at 45 Radial fade should be at ten, 10 should be fine. Radial fade is just to fade out the edge. Just fade out the edge. So we have a smoother transition around the edge when we use this. Then the mid value is so that we don't have bumpy surface on top of it. So we just want this to be affecting just if just on the flat surface. We don't want to, we don't want to create like a displacement bump on top of it. If that makes any sense, okay. Let me just show you guys. I'm not sure that makes any sense, but I'll show you guys. So let me double click it again. If I just use this on here like this, so the symmetry turned off for now because it's the center piece. You can see how this pushes this out, <clears throat> and we don't want that. We do not want that, so I won't do that. So that's why we need to set all those things up. So I think this is the it should be the one I set up. Oh, that's not it. I think I lost it. I think I lost it. Great. And I'll do that again. Ten. Forty-five. If I do this now. Oh, I'm missing something. I'm supposed to move this from stroke to drag rectangle. If I should apply this on here again, so you notice that it's not bumping out the surface, and we have a smoother transition on the edge. Okay. Something pretty much like this, but looking at this, now I see a lot of noise in there. I don't want all this noise, so that means I need to try. I need to try a different. I need to try a different uh, face. So let's try the female face that instead. Let's try the same number four. Let me just try this on there before making an adjustment just to feel just to see how it is. <clears throat> yeah, I think it should be fine. This one should be fine. This starter should be fine. Female face starter should be fine. So just a matter of going back and forth, figure out which one works. So let me undo that. I need to put this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Because I would like to be, because I'm going to be moving close up, so I like to be using this set notes in here to kind of move in or zoom in or zoom out. So since we have this in here now, this will be the new one we just had there. So radial fade 10, 45. I will just be able to just say that, say that permanently. So I don't have to redo that anytime I'm using a, using an alpha in here. Okay. So like I said initially, we need to kind of make sure we are following the same flow. You can see how. Let's see if I can. 
illustrate this. I zoom in a bit more. Let me, let me get some more space to this. You can see the directionality of this. You can see how it's flowing. You can see how it's flowing. Why can't I can't draw over this? Okay, you can see how it's flowing in this direction, like so. It's flowing in this direction, like so. Then like this, like this. Something pretty much like so. So that's we're gonna follow this also. Right, direction for this skin is kind of flowing in this direction, like this. So, keeping that in mind before we start using this alpha is very important. And that's why we have this as a reference on this side, kind of give us an idea of directionality. Very important. So, I think since this is the center point, I think this should be this should be around the uh, so. Let me increase the intensity some more. So you can see the rationality of it. I think I need to flip this. Like so, yes. This is more or less like the shape for it, but this is just way too intense. Yeah, this is obviously too, obviously too intense. So let me put this back to let's try it twenty. So just a back and forth thing just to figure out. Just to figure out which one works best. So let me click this like so. And something pretty much like this should be it. Keeping in mind that directionality to it. Okay. Let me get this. Get this up a bit. Okay, so directionality. I think you should be fine. The reason I made it, made it made this intense is because I can just tune down the intensity with my layer since we are applying this on the layer. Okay. All right. So next thing is to use the alpha three now. Alpha three. So double click on alpha three. For now, I'm using symmetry for now. At least for these two because they are, they are directly in the center. Directly in the center. Maybe when I'm using two, I can turn on symmetry for that. Okay. So O3. Yes, we have to repeat this again. For the five. Should I even, maybe I should even dock this. Can I dock, dock this? Okay, I can dock this around here. I think that's fine. Yeah, let's dock this around here. So, get this from here. Yeah, should be fine. So, let's zoom in. So, you can see directionality to it around here. So, the directionality for this is moving towards. I see a wrinkle around. There's a wrinkle around here. The wrinkle around here, so I just want to make sure the wrinkle is kind of following the same, following the same direction for it. And I'm going a bit tight-handed on this, so okay. Yeah, something like this. Let me move this down. Let's make sure. Yeah, directionality seems fine. <clears throat> yeah, the directionality is fine for that. I'll do the same thing here also. Okay, maybe something a bit wider like that. So something like that. Most of these things are going to be softened out later on when we are subsidy scattering to it. But for now, I think 
on now for the top part. I think I'll we'll block this in. This should be fine. You can see how let me zoom in. Get a good angle to this. Let me zoom in a bit more. You can see how I've flown the same directionality. You can see how I've flown the same directionality to the skin pose. Like so. Okay, so. Yeah, let's carry on. So now I can turn on symmetry for this. So I can do this for the side. So let's turn on symmetry. So we want to be using the. Let's look for one that has better detail to it. This is a two. Though this might be for a different phase though, but the numbers are still the same. The direct the placement are still the same. So let's double click on two. Then we'll just come in here and just 10, 45, 45. So, um, so for this two, I'm going to start somewhere close to the eye. Somewhere close to the eye. Somewhere around the edge uh, should be fine. So let's let's zoom in and kind of get a feel of the directionality. I can see some some of these edges around here is flowing flowing down. So that's what, what I'm going to go down is a bit more obvious to see for the directions of it. So should be pushing down. It's kind of it's kind of a bit it's a, it's a bit tricky though, but it's a bit tricky. But once you get the angle to it, you should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I did. I did the opposite. I think I did the opposite. This one's supposed to be down here instead. It's supposed to be down instead. Now let's also increase the intensity some more. Get the flow of this. Yeah, it's kind of tricky figuring out where. There should be, but I think somewhere around here should do the trick. Something like this. Something like this, I believe. Mm. Not entirely certain though. Uh, we got this lower part well, but I have an idea. Let's max. Let's max this part out. Let's max this part out. Okay. So then draw this again. Let's blow out the. Let's blow the max. Some more. So I will smooth that transition. Now we'll draw that again. Let me draw that from somewhere around here. Let's find. No, I think it's the yes, almost the yes, something like this. Something pretty much like this, like so, should be fine. Yeah, better. Yeah, that's fine. Now, once keep in mind, you don't, you don't necessarily need to kind of do this all over the place and fill up the entire gap. That's why we have all those skin pores as a base to kind of help us. Okay. Think I would paint. Here yeah, also, okay. Blood the marks. Mm. 
okay then draw this again I think, I need, I think I need to go zoom in a bit more so you want to keep in mind also the directionality I think yes yeah, something something like so should work let's move the marks now then I can use the entire thing as it is Yeah, for now it feels a bit rough, but once we blend this down, once we blend this down, it should <clears throat> it should begin to look a lot better. Mm, I think I'm still going to continue using the maxing for this. Let's mark these parts. Okay. Now then I'll draw this out from here instead. Yeah, something like this. <clears throat> something like this. Move the marks. Okay. Let's use the one now. Let's use one for this. Maybe not yet. Let's max out these parts. Mm, let's see. Let's see. No, 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 that feels way too patchy. Let's try the one in there. Let's try one. Then forty-five. Let's first see what this gives us. Okay. Now that feels a bit noisy. Then something like this should be fine. Mm. We have a lot of dents on top of this. Let me try another skin. Try younger face, female twenties. Female twenty. Let me try. Let's try the two. Let's try two for this. Okay. Take down the intensity for this. That felt too intense. Yeah, it's a good one. I think we can use this to fill up these parts. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. We can use this to kind of get some more directionality to the entire outscene. Yes, perfect. That will just help us drive some directions to it. Maybe use this on here also. But try to be careful not to do this extremely much though, but I think it should be fine. Kind of going a bit gentle handed on this. Let's do some around here. Should probably increase the intensity some more. Yeah, something like this should be fine.
I'm just going to continue this on here. Continue this on here. No, I think I like that. I like that. Let me keep that. Bring that back in. And bring that back. Okay. I also liked what was wrong with this before. I think that should be too. I can come back here and repeat this to come here and repeat this to around here. So we can always go back and reuse and reuse some of this. in mind the directionality of this yeah i think we can use this around here yeah something like this should be fine okay oh i know it feels weird once we patch everything back up with other layers you will see some of the beauty of this coming out so let's just keep let's keep patching this up around the air around here also and I'm going to be using the one this is the one from this younger face let's see seems like it's yeah, seems like it. Can just go across here. Try to follow the same directionality to it. Let's try this one instead. Much the same thing. Okay, something like that should be fine. So the next lesson we're going to carry on and then continue to. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me say check this two again. I wasn't sure if I was in the correct twenties female face twenties twenty alpha two for it. So I want to be kind of be sure. I want to be sure. Because of the because of the directionality to it. Okay, so that should be fine. So I'm going to be using the same thing also in these parts. Let me get a closer view in there. Undo that. Do that again. No. Need a better angle to this. Let me see. I'm not can't see the directionality to it properly. Yeah, something like this. Should be fine. Turn on symmetry for this. No, directionality seems wrong. Directions for that seems wrong. Yeah, something like this. 
I turn off symmetry for now. Get something with direction like so. All right. Do something similar also in here. Go a bit light handed around here. Facing the direction like so. Yeah, that should be fine. So in the next lesson, we're just going to carry on and then continue to let me save this. Continue to use the texture in XYZ maps on top of this. This for the most part of the face. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.